Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. You know, normally when Kabam wants to introduce a progression level to the game, they give us maybe a month or two, maybe three of a head start for those that want to spend the most money or clear the most content, usually a combination of both. And then everybody slowly catches up. We know that players in November, including myself, got to become valiant during Cyber Week. Toward the end, I think it was the third week of November, between a minimum of completing one path of Necropolis and then hundreds and hundreds of American dollars worth of purchases, they could get a rank two to rank three rank up generic gem. And that gave me the ability to have my first ever uh, seven star rank three be Gore, somebody that I. I, I would rank him down today. I don't like Gore. I don't like using him. I mean, he's kind of easy to fight, especially if you've got a good Mystic counter, of course. I just feel like he's kind of overrated. Some people think he's the best. I think he's not. But he was my first rank 3 7 star because he was my best Cosmic Champion. At the time, ironically, now, if I could rank him down, the Cosmic Champion I'd rank up instead would either be Adam Warlock or Maestro. But that's not going to uh, happen, of course, because rank down tickets don't exist anymore. But Valiant players should still feel blessed because, of course, we have the greatest crystal right now. Even better than some of these Summer of Pain meets the Winter of Pain. These Valiant crystals that I continue to accumulate and try to open every few days, they're just amazing. I've had fully formed... Uh, tier 6 basic fully formed tier 3 alpha in them. I've had uh, I think one fully formed tier 6 class catalyst. I've opened over a, a fully formed 7 star shard worth of shards or a fully formed 7 star period worth of shards I've had I think 20,000 free 7 star shards from these and so now yes we've got the relic builder bundle today which I don't usually grade these I, I like relics. I've actually evolved my opinion on them but I don't like spending money on them. I'll take them if they're free or if they're a bonus item in like a July 4th or Cyber Weekend bundle. Sure, give it to me. But I did not buy the ones that were for these with units themselves. I didn't think it was worth it. Check out this Valiant Team Builder bundle. Valiant players, like the rich, continue to get richer. You can get this four times. You guarantee yourself 20,000 seven-star shards for 120 American dollars. I'm not saying that you should if you're a Valiant player. But the bigger thing is this. Kabam continues to tell Paragon players that Tier 4 Alpha Catalyst Fragments are really going to be behind a Valiant paywall. We know that Tier 4 Alpha Catalyst Fragments are the reason why so many Paragon players can't become Valiant. Because as another reminder, though I'm sure very few of you need the reminder, if you're going to take a 7 star from rank two to rank three and these are my rank twos currently so let's say domino probably would be my next seven star to rank three you need not one not two but three tier four alpha so this is still ten percent of a tier four alpha which means even if you could buy ten of them that's three hundred dollars for one which means if you want three it's going to cost you about a grand but that's if you're Valiant. That's if you already have two rank three seven stars. Paragon players, Kabam wants you to pay like $10,000. But actually it's even worse than that because you don't have the option to purchase these because you don't see them because it's a Valiant restricted bundle. The only way that you can see this guaranteed since Cyber Week has long come and gone is if you bite the ultimate bullet and decide to explore Necropolis, which even if you've got a rank five or rank six, technically ascended six star Aegon, which is what I did before I uh, attempted, keyword attempted to explore it, you're going to be spending, at least if you're someone like me, tens of thousands of units, so many hours, it's just not worth it. So the hope is 8.4. 8.4 rewards might give for exploration of that. Uh, a second rank two to rank three, seven star rank up uh, gym crystal, 
like the one you got for completing your first path in Necropolis. But the problem with that is Valiant players get better rewards for the summer of pain meets the summer of February, since that's what this is starting out as next week. And for every week that you're a Paragon player, it's not Valiant. You're just costing yourself points for objectives to not get as good of rewards. So if I'm a Paragon player, I'm ticked. But this is the kind of thing that I'm especially ticked about because, yes, the rich are getting richer and everybody else is just watching being like, I'd love to join you. But Kabam is, has basically said, if you want to join them, explore Necropolis. And if not, good luck. And for that, I say, dang, that's kind of Bush League.